Hey, my name is Donovan Keith, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about navigating your viewport, which is this window right here, in Cinema 4D. So uh, to start, just go ahead and create a new scene and click on the standard button here in your layout. Now, if your version of Cinema 4D doesn't look like mine, uh, it might be because you're using a different version. I'm in Cinema 4D 2023. So um, to begin, let's add an object to our scene so that we have something to rotate around. I'm going to press and hold and grab a figure object. When I release, it shows up in my screen. Um, my favorite keyboard shortcut for navigating in Cinema 4D is H, which I misremember as uh, frame my whole, uh, even though it's a misspelling, uh, object or my whole scene. And you can access this same command by clicking on view here and going to frame geometry, frame geometry. Uh, next up, we're going to make this object editable. Now, this isn't necessary for uh, rotating our view, but it shows some nice tricks for uh, seeing specific elements. So I'm going to make it editable. And this is allowing me now to come in here and select the individual chunks or parts of my object. And if I hold down Command and click on this plus sign here next to where it says Figure, you'll see the full hierarchy, all of the things that sort of belong in this object. So to rotate your view, there are a few techniques. The first the sort of foolproof one is these icons right here. If you click and drag with this first one, you can pan your view. So you're moving it left, right, up, down, and you're sort of clicking and dragging here. Next is dolly. So that'll uh, dolly you, so, so physically move your camera forward and backward and space. Not to be confused with zooming, which is when you change the focal length of your lens, but your camera stays in the same physical length in, uh, in space, or physical position in space. Uh, last up here is the orbit, or rotate. And this will sort of, by default, rotate around the center of your scene. Um, and you see this little tick mark right here that shows up in the, uh, the center there by the, uh, the character's hips. That's sort of defining the rotation point. And as you rotate around, you can kind of manipulate that. Now, um, this is pretty good if you're on a, you know, on a laptop or you don't like learning uh, keyboard shortcuts. This is the way to go. If, however, you want to learn some keyboard shortcuts, um, my preferred way of working is to hold down the Alt or Option key on my keyboard and to click and drag. So when I'm clicking and dragging with my left mouse button, I am going to be orbiting around the point that I'm clicking on. So if I click on this hand right here, I'm orbiting around this hand, around this one over here. It's like we're in like sort of a, a weird do -si do kind of dance configuration with this character. Uh, I can grab by the foot and focus on the foot. I can grab by the head and rotate from the head. It's amazing. Um, next up, that's that's your holding down alter option with your left mouse button. If you hold down your middle mouse button, and this, this is going to sort of be the defining thing here. Do you have three buttons on your mouse? If you don't, this technique's not really gonna be working for you. Um, so, but if you have a middle mouse button, which I really recommend if you're gonna be working in 3D, click and drag with your middle mouse button, and you are going to be panning around your view. Last but not least, you can right click and drag, right click and drag to dolly in and out. Now, um, there is one more style of navigating the views in Cinema 4D, and this is really great. Uh, one, just because the keyboard shortcuts are easy to remember, and two, really great if you are working with a tablet um, where you don't always have a middle mouse button, for example, and that is the one two, three keys on your keyboard. So one, click and drag, will allow you to pan. Holding down two, click and drag, will dolly in. Whoa, 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 back up, back up. Um, one again, will uh, move. And three, clicking and dragging, will orbit or rotate around the point that I'm clicking on. Now, if you get confused and use some random combination of these things, like, like for example, accidentally right-clicking on this icon here and accidentally right-clicking on this icon here, and you end up in some view that looks kind of like this, right? Who knows where anything is or how this is happening? Although this is kind of a fun, whoa, hey, hey man. Um, that, okay, forgive me. That was more fun than I anticipated. But if that's not what you want, if you're actually trying to get some work done, go to View frame default and that's going to take you back to a happy and sane sort of normal thing uh last but not least or not last uh, second to last still not least tapping that h key again again will frame things up nicely that h key is second only perhaps 
only perhaps to the S key, which will allow you to click on an element, right? So you've got a model mode selected, you've got move selected, you've selected an element, and then you tap the S key, and now you have framed up your selected element. So it's really helpful to just sort of toggle between H to see everything, click on what you want, S to frame that up, and then we can have, you know, real fascination with why this neck is so round and not cylindrical. Why? I don't know. Um, okay, so we've got all of that. Last but not least, this is a fun bonus tip. This is not viewport navigation. If you hover over the objects manager and tap that same S key, it will scroll to the first active object. It will also show the first active object. Now, um, I don't think the H key does doing anything in here. No, it doesn't seem to. Uh, but the S key, it is multifunctional depending on where you are. So uh, that, you know, if you wanted to do that, but instead you did this, uh, that's why. Okay, so that's the basics of the keys that you need to use. And then and now just some general techniques. Um, I like to sort of get over, you know, where, wherever you happen to be. Uh, if you want to frame something, I generally just try and get it like in view enough and then I'm using alter option to get the orientation that I want again, clicking on the part of the object that you want to rotate around. Then I generally try and center it up and then right click and drag. And you would do this when you're sort of like working on a model in the subcomponents and you don't want to have to like change your selection to, to zoom in on a really specific thing. Uh, I would practice this, grab a scene from the, the assets browser here, you can go into example scenes. Um, there's a lot of really fun stuff in here. Um, for example, we could open up, I don't know, one of these uh, Archviz scenes, like, I don't know, let's explore a living room. Um, and we might have to wait a minute, honestly, while this downloads, it's a, it's a slightly chunky scene. Um, but I'm on a fast connection, so you're gonna bear with me, please, thank you. Okay, so here we are in a more complex scene. And actually, I think this is going to expose us to a common problem. And that problem is, well, I'm moving my camera, or at least I think I am, I'm doing everything I feel like I should be doing, and yet, and yet, uh, nothing's moving. Um, what we're waiting on right now is for all of our sort of textures to pre-process and render, right? You see they're sort of streaming in, the colors are updating as they do. Um, and I'm in here and I'm gonna try and rotate my view around it. And I'm like, ugh, I can't, I just can't do it. I'm clicking, I'm doing all my shortcuts. One, two, ah, nothing. Well, um, what is happening here? And this might be hard to find, right? Like not every scene is so nicely labeled. We are probably looking through a camera, a real camera in our scene. And we can see here that we're looking through camera landscape. We could even look through camera portrait, camera detail and see, oh, actually, there's some nice like preset compositions for us. But you also see on these cameras what's called a protection tag or protection expression. And this is locking the movement of our camera. And it's sort of preventing us from doing any of the things that we wanna do. So uh, I guess you could delete this protection tag, but what you can also do is just click on this icon next to your camera, which is to say, look through or don't look through this camera. And now we're no longer looking through this camera. And we're, you know, in this situation where we're trying to get back inside this room, and that can sometimes be difficult, right? If there's like a, a, a window pane in here or something. And that's where it's again helpful to like, you know, grab an object that you like, tap that S key, and then orbit around. And I'd say just think about, you know, see, like, can you focus on a wine glass? Can you navigate around the scene? Just try and get comfortable navigating around, exploring these elements. Um, you're gonna be navigating for the rest of your 3D career, so you might as well get good at it. Okay, um, that's about all I have to say about camera navigation. Oh, oh, one last thing, one last thing. You will sometimes end up in a situation where um, your view, you're doing your like middle mouse clicking and dragging, and you end up here. And this is what happens when you click on this special fourth button here. This is the, I think I, is it, toggle active view, it's, I don't know, it's, I call it the split pane button. I don't know what it's actually called. When I click on this, it splits my view from my perspective view into a four way view with a top, a left, a right, all these things. Um, H, we know about, right? It'll frame things up. There's also another command, which is option H, whoops, um, option H. 
and that will frame every single element in every single one of your viewports simultaneously. That's a good way to get sort of the lay of the land in a scene you're not familiar with. Um, and there we are. Um, to go into any one of these views, these are what are called orthographic views, you would click on this toggle active view. So um, that is a crash course in how to navigate around your viewport in Cinema 4D. And um, there you go.